There are different ways to insert data manually into Stata. One way is to click the data editor. And here you can just type in the values which your data points have. So for example, our first data point is, for example, Simon male 412. Okay, so we just type in here, Simon male 412. But we want our first variable to be name. The second variable should be gender. The third one should be wage. And the fourth one should be years of education. What we can do in the data editor is to just select the variable. Then we can go to the properties tab and change the name to name. And we can do this for the rest of the variables. This should be wage. And here we should have years of education. Now we can just press the tab button, or <clears throat> the tab button, and we can just type in the rest of the data points, which we see here. But this is not a very reproducible uh, way of inserting data. You should put everything you do into the do file and do this programmatically. Okay, so we just click close this and we just type <coughs> clear to empty the data set we have. So to do this manually, we just use the input command. And what does this say? Well, we should prepare for input of data. And we have name, we have gender, we have wage, and we have years of education. The only problem here is that name and gender, they should be string variables, which means they should not contain numbers, they should contain um, letters. This means that we have to define that this should be a string variable. So if we um, define it as str20, then we say that name can contain um, 20 uh, letters. Okay, so if we press enter, then we see that in the results pane, the uh, variable names, name, gender, wage, and years of education is already, uh, or they are ready to accept data. So for example, if we press Simon male 412, then these uh, variables will be populated with these values. And we can do the same for all of the um, uh, data points Remember that if you just run the do file, the, uh, the program will do this for you. Okay. And you close with an end statement. Okay. So now we can go up here <clears throat> to the data editor and click browse. And we see that, well, indeed we have gotten the data structure populated with the uh, data points that we inserted.